Hi guys, I am back and my voice is a little raspy so I don't know why. But anyway, this meatloaf that I have already done on YouTube before, the one that was hacked, I am recreating it again and this time is a request from my sister-in-law, Lynn. So Lynn, here's your meatloaf and here's the way that I make it. I have close to like two and a half pounds of ground beef. So if you look at the B-roll, you'll see what Miss Smart Pants put out. So what I'm going to do now is add my seasonings. I am going to use Vance seasoning, any type of seasoning that you want. And I'm just going to sprinkle. I said that's maybe about a teaspoon and a half. You don't want to go overboard because what else I'm going to put in here. I am going to use... This right here, sorry, this right here. And I like to use my white spoon. People have a problem with my spoon. I like it because it gives me the right amount of what I want. And that's probably about a tablespoon. So if I would have did that and put it in a tablespoon, it would have been a tablespoon. For real, for real. From there, I only use that much. I am going to use Lipton one pack. I'm going to use black pepper. And this about a teaspoon and a half. I am going to use some wrist crackers. I can't find the longer tubes. So I have to use two of these. So I just want to crumble it up. If you don't have wrist crackers, you can use pieces of bread if you want to. I don't use bread because I don't like that texture. So if you only have a little bit a ground beef, maybe like a pound and a half, and you want to extend it, then that's when you want to use your crackers or your bread crumbs. Now I have one bell pepper chopped, one serrano chopped, and this is a big whole onion because I love onions. I also have Rotel Hot. Actually, hold on guys, I need to drain this. All right, so I drained the Rotel and put it in a little mesh strainer. I have two eggs I'm gonna put in. And this is gonna get messy because you have to use your hands. I have Contadina, I don't know how you say it, but if you want to say it in the countryside, Contradina, there we go. And I use three scoops. All right, here we go with the messy part. And it's going to be all over the stove. <clears throat> no, I do not use gloves because I like to feel my meat. So you're just going to try to fold it in on itself until it gets all combined. <clears throat> And I could have used a bigger bowl, but why? Because I'm going to put it in this anyway. So you want to make sure that your seasoning is distributed throughout your meat. So after I mixed it all together, now I'm going to form it. 
You can put it any kind of shape you want to. Matter of fact, you can be nasty with it if you want to. Huh, Lynn? Some people I've seen put this into a low pan, but why? You want to make sure that it's kind of tight a little bit and firm because you can feel the air pockets in it. <clears throat> so you want to just smooth the edges around. Now I could put um, chicken broth in here, but I won't because I put chicken powder inside. All right, now I'm gonna do what my grandmother does. Hold on, I need to wash my hands. All right, so my grand grandmother put, my granny puts lines through there. Like I said in the other video, before it was hacked, I don't understand why she does it. But since she does it, I'm doing it and have been doing it for a while. I don't get it, but hey, that's my granny. Then I want to take the tomato paste. We love meatloaf with a lot of tomato paste on it. And you just want to frost it. And I'm going to tell you what's really good afterward. Once you cook your meatloaf and you serve it for dinner and the next day, oh my God. Meatloaf sandwich with onions on it. Oh, that is so good. Great. So what I'm doing now is taking the remnants from the canned tomato paste and I add, oh shoot, it's flinging it all over the place. And I added some more. So you just want to go around. Go around and make a fucking mess. That's what you want to do. How about that? Now it all depends on your ground beef. If you got 80-20, expect a lot of fat from it, okay? If you got 90-10, expect no fat so in here I have a mixture no you don't I don't no I got the big big roll at a uh, Sam's Club mm -hmm. and that's 90 10 no oh. well expect no fat how about that and then you can sprinkle a little pepper on it then what you always want to do and I have to do it is clean up around it. I don't know why. It's just going to be burnt to crunch on the side anyway. I don't like that look. So you're going to put it in the oven on 350 and you're going to cook it for about an hour. So once you clean up your mess, like there, I got to clean that up. You're good to go, Lynn, and you just put it in the oven. Okay, guys, so here's the meatloaf. It took about an hour. Sometimes it takes like 45 minutes to an hour, but I usually like to let mine cook all the way through. So it taken about an hour, so this is how it is. So if you see, there is really no grease or no oil because it is 
total meat, okay? A little fat in it. If you want fat in it, then you can add like ground, um, ground pork, or you can just go ahead and go to the store and get the 80-20 with all that grease women. And that's good too. So here it is right here. Let me cut it, cut into it. So I'm cutting it and this is how it looks right here. Now I usually let my sit for a little while so the, all the juices and stuff can permeate into the meat, okay? Mm. It's really good. Very, very good. So here's your meatloaf, Lynn. All right? Okay, guys, this is just a repeated um, video on the meatloaf because, you know, I told you before earlier in the thing, all my videos was hacked. So here it is. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you guys eating this at Chocolate City Lounge Friday at 7, Mountain Standard Time. Bye.